People on both sides of the aisle are urging President Trump to pardon whistleblowers Julian Assange and Edward Snowden. One America's Shane Althaus has more. In the past decade, no whistleblowers have been talked about more than Julian Assange and Edward Snowden. Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, is currently being held in England's Belmarsh prison following his indictment on 17 charges of espionage related to his leaking of secret military documents. Snowden is residing in Russia, where he's avoiding facing charges of espionage lodged against him by the United States. Snowden released droves of classified documents exposing the extent to which the NSA and the federal government monitor private communications between American citizens and private companies. Now, President Trump is receiving pressure from voices across the political spectrum, urging him to use his pardon power on the two men. President Trump is listening to the many of us who are urging him to pardon Snowden. It is the right thing to do. Those in favor of the pardons argue the information released in the leaks reveals the levels to which the federal government spies on American citizens and even breaks Geneva Convention standards. In documents leaked by WikiLeaks in 2007, Assange made public the 2003 Army Manual on Standard Operating Procedures. However, what was revealed was the Army intentionally kept prisoners at Guantanamo Bay away from Red Cross inspectors. The Army would even place prisoners in isolation for up to two weeks as a way to make them more compliant with interrogators. These actions are defined as torture and prohibited by the 1949 Geneva Convention. Another leak in 2010 showed unredacted diplomatic communications between U.S. leaders and correspondents all over the globe. In this release, nicknamed Cablegate, Assange showed the U.S. had carried out secret drone strikes in Yemen, spied on U.N. representatives, and was even pushed by Saudi Arabia to carry out a direct strike on Iran. This led then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to call the leak a, quote, attack on the international community. And possibly Assange's most influential leak was a batch of emails from Hillary Clinton's campaign manager John Podesta in 2016. These emails included direct indications that the DNC had favored Hillary Clinton over her primary challenger, Senator Bernie Sanders. These leaks even showed then-DNC chairwoman Donna Brazile gave the Clinton campaign debate questions in advance. Many believe Snowden and Assange deserve to be pardoned because they revealed corrupt actions on the part of the U.S. government and personnel at the highest levels of power. So first I introduced HRES 1162 with my colleague Congressman Matt Gates. that very simply calls on our government to drop all charges against Edward Snowden for the actions that he took in the public interest to expose a mass government surveillance program on all Americans. Others argue revealing U.S. documents compromises both national and international security. Either way, people across the political spectrum are calling for these two men to be pardoned, and they're looking at President Trump to do so. Shane Althaus, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.